I've always wanted to make a werewolf costume, so here's part one of what I came up with. The mask with an articulated jaw. For this build you will need cardboard, packing tape, stiff wire, rubber bands, and nuts and bolts, a head armature, cling film, oil based clay, liquid latex, artificial hair, some white Fimo, acrylic paint, hot glue, super glue, sewing needle, paint brushes, sculpting tools, scissors, a wig, talc and some plastic packaging from a packet of light bulbs. I started off by making a frame to support my mask out of strips of cardboard held together with packing tape. The lower jaw is separate and fixed to the frame with a couple of nuts and bolts. I put a little super glue on the bolt threads when doing them up so that the nuts wouldn't work loose. Then put rubber bands around both jaws. The lower jaw fits under the chin so that when you open your mouth the jaw opens. I also fitted a piece of stiff wire that runs over the head, down the bridge of the nose and under the upper jaw. This makes the whole thing a bit more rigid. Next I put the frame onto the head armature and covered in cling film. Then I sculpted the mask onto this with the oil based clay using sculpting tools for the details. Once this is done you're ready to apply the latex. This is done in the same way as I did for the Batman mask in a previous video. Mix the colour acrylic paint you want to use with the latex. Add a ratio of one part paint to about five parts latex and apply about ten layers to your sculpture allowing the latex to dry in between each layer. Once dry cover with talc so the latex doesn't stick to itself as you remove it from your mould. Once removed, trim off the excess latex and your mask skin is done. Now remove the clay and cling film from your head armature so you can retrieve your frame. Paint pink coloured latex to the inside of the upper jaw on the frame. Then make a tongue out of the oil based clay and paint this with the same coloured latex. Layer up as with the mask. Remove it and then hot glue it to the inside of the lower jaw. Next I sewed some artificial hair to the chin of the mask and to the tops of the ears. Then I fitted the mask skin to the frame, hot gluing it round the inside of the gums and sealing the joints with some more pink latex. I made teeth out of the white Fimo and baked hard following the manufacturer's instructions and hot glued these to the gums of the mask. I made the eyes using some clear plastic packaging that had once held light bulbs. I painted this yellow on the inside and left the pupils clear so you could see through the mask once you put it on. The pupils will appear black once the mask is on. I topped the whole thing off with a black wig and that's the mask completed. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching. Mm.